If you look at the multi-purpose dredging process of the amphibious dredger, first, it can be easily self-loaded by itself using four spuds. And then, it can be transported to the site by a trailer after folding the spuds again. Once it arrives at the site, the side pontoons are installed using a crane after self-unloading with the four spuds. This self-assembly feature, without any help from other equipment, is very economical compared with other dredgers that require a lot of transportation costs for assembling and disassembling. Finally, install the cutter and suction hose. The amphibious dredger can enter the water by itself using lower tracks without any separate berth facility for entering and exiting. And it can move in the water and dredge using the propeller. Once it arrives at the work site using the propeller under the dredger, it is fixed using the spuds so that it will not move. And then, it starts dredging with its pump after connecting the discharge pipe for discharging sludge. At this point, as the cutter is equipped on the front part of the suction, efficient pump dredging is possible for any type of soil, and discharging is enabled by suctioning dredged sludge with a pump through the discharge pipe. Bucket dredging can be carried out on sites where pump dredging is impossible, and a rake bucket is installed on the front to remove reeds for dredging. The clamshell can be used to dredge polluted soil deposits or wastes in the water. Like this, as you can replace attachment parts on the front of the clamp with the hydraulic cutter, rake bucket, clamshell, wide bucket, etc. Efficient dredging is possible for various types of dredging sites.